Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to more Pixar reviews. Hooray, more Pixar videos. I I am I am so glad I'm fi finally I'm finally back to um to do some more Pixar videos. I love Pixar. Pixar is a good studio. Even though they've gone downhill more recently, I still think they had some pretty good films in the past. And and I'm going to be talking about another film um that we're going to be talking about here in a second um but before I get any further, um, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I really ap would appreciate that. Let's see if we can hit, hit, um, well, well, let's see if we can get, you know, uh, to, um, actually, I'm not going to say that. Never mind. Um, I was going to say I'm hit to a certain number, but I'm not very good at that. So I I'm just going to ask just to support my channel is all. And, um, if you guys are interested in, you know, reviews, check out my other reviews I've done. I've done Blue Sky and Illumination. So, see you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Um, I don't know. I, I think I'm all over the place. Sorry about that. But, but enough, but enough chitter chat. Let's talk about this movie here. A Bug's Life. Bug, bugs are our pesky creatures. I gotta tell you, I do not like mis a lot of bugs, like mosquitoes. I don't like mosquitoes. I don't. I don't like. I don't like flies and gnats. I don't like a lot of bugs. I don't like roaches. However, there are some bugs I do like, and those bugs are, those bugs are known as butterflies. Butterflies are very pretty um, insects. I like ladybugs too. Ladybugs are pretty good too. There are certain bugs I think are really annoying. I wish they could go go burn in hell, but there are some I actually like. And I'm. Um, and this is A Bug's Life. This is the second Pixar film. The second one um, that, that, that came out. Um, I was actually going to do a reaction to a... To the... the, the um, I was going to do a reaction to the VHS com commercial stuff. Um, unfortunately, my phone froze up on me. So I, I could not upload the video. So sorry, guys. No reaction there. Um... I could not do that, so, um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, if you guys are hearing music in the background, too, I decided to do music for, for this review. Um, I figured, I, I think it's kind of lifelike without music in the background, so I put some Paper Mario music in the background. I was going to do the B theme for Mario Galaxy, but I've been playing Mario Galaxy music nonstop, so I figured I would switch it up a bit. So, uh, yeah, so no B theme for Mario Galaxy, but, um, but, but anywho, um, but, um, you know, um, but I, I want to talk about, you know, this film here. This film is, uh, a lot of people think this film is very generic and, and not the best of the, the original Pixar uh, movies. And I gotta say, I kind of agree with them. I, I do gotta agree with them. Um, this film is definitely kind of kind of a bit average. It's a bit average. It's not horrible. I mean, the, the circus um, bugs take take the show. They take the show here. Um, they literally take the show and make this make this um, you know a, a somewhat decent movie to watch. My my problem is with this movie is um it is a lot of um. A lot of the um, ants are freaking unlikable. Actually, they're all unlikable. Basically, Flint is just trying to help out. And, and every ant is like, treats him like crap and stuff, which is sad. It's really, really sad um, that, that, that that's that's the case. Because um, I feel like, you know, it's kind of, I mean, I get they want, they want to have, you know, a... Um, you know, a, a plot here, but I don't feel like they need to have the ants treat, um, treat Flint like garbage. I think they should treat him with, I think th them treating him like garbage takes away from this movie a little bit. 
Um, it basically takes away from the movie a little bit and kind of, you know, um, and it kind of hurts the movie a little bit, though, because, um, I, the whole, the whole point of the movie, basically what the plot's about is, is the ants are, are, are threatened by the grasshoppers, and so Hopper and his gang, they're, they're threatened by him, but they're threatened and they're, they're forced to give food to Hopper. But when Flint, you know, screws everything up, Hopper gets pissed off at, at the ants and um, and decides to, like, threaten them. He gives them another chance to get their food, but, but he kind of does it all mean and stuff. So, uh, yeah, kind of all mean and stuff. And, um, and, 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 and yeah, it's kind, it's kind of, you know, um, it's kind of, you know, interesting to have an actual villain in, in this movie. Considered, um, the first movie I reviewed of Pixar, which is Toy Story, it did not have a villain in it. It had, it, it had Sid, but Sid was not really a villain villain. He didn't know he was blowing up the toys. Like, he didn't know he was actually killing, killing actual living creatures with our toys. Um, well, well, Hopper, Hopper no, knows what he's doing is wrong. He knows he's, he's a what he's doing and all that and um I, I hope I hope Sid well Sid I hope is okay from Toy Story because I'm sure the toys tra traumatized him to death when they found they found out they could talk but um hey I don't know it seems like Sid will need a lot of therapy after all that um but yeah, I think I think I like I like Hopper Hopper's a good villain I think he's he's not the greatest villain but I think he's a pretty good villain And, and I gotta say though, um, what ends up happening though is Flint Flint um feels bad and he tr and he decides to go decides to go and um but he decides to go and um and um you know well Flint decides to go and um you know get, look for other bugs to help de defeat Hopper and stuff. So but the other ants are freaking. Such jackasses to Flint. They really are. I mean, yeah, he screwed up a, a lot of stuff, but I mean, he's just trying to help. And they're all, they're freaking want him to leave so they can get him out of their hair and all that. It's just, it's just kind of sad, honestly. And, um, and I, and I do, I do, like I said, I do like the, I do like the, um, the, the, um, you know, the, the bugs, the, um, the actual, you know, bugs at the circus. They are, they're the best part of it. I especially like the ladybug guy. He's a, he's pretty funny. Um, I like how everyone mistakes him and treats him like a girl. It's pretty funny. Um, it, it's, it's really funny though. It really is. And, um, and it, I don't know. I, I do think they, 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 um, they, they definitely steal the show, um, in this movie. Um, now, they, they don't make the movie fantastic, but they make it a lot more enjoyable than it would if they were not in it. But, um... But, yeah, basically, though, that since they're in the movie and stuff... Since they're in the movie, it really makes the movie a lot more enjoyable to watch, and, um... I do, I do like them, I do. I definitely like them, and, um... A funny thing I want to point out too about about the the these the scene where the bugs appear and as a circus. Um, well, I, I think Flint was actually it's actually the scene where Flint was actually um going to look for him because um there was actually a scene a scene where they um there's a scene you know um where they actually show them the circus bugs performing terribly and all that um. Which is really, um, you know, odd and stuff, and, um, it's odd to show them, I mean, I guess they want to show that, that, that they're setting their plot up a bit, you know, showing them that they're not really having a fun time at the circus and all that, and that they're trying their best, but no one appreciates them. So, so, uh, so, uh, yeah, um. But there's there's a scene there's a scene where where they're actually in the, the the room and um and um you know Flint's actually looking for them and there's actually bugs <laughs> actually drinking margaritas. Margarita is a a drink only people 21 or older can drink. 
So they're they're literally drinking a a moderia on a kids movie. It's really funny because now these days kids freaking won't can't can't watch that crap. Heck, heck um heck um Disney is basically um censoring Who Framed Roger Rabbit. So you know who even though Who Framed Roger Rabbit was technically a movie meant for older people, while A Bug's Life is meant for kids. But I don't know. But yeah, they're censoring them. They're, they're censoring Jessica Rabbit and all that. So. So, uh, yeah, but... But basically, though, um, so Flint, Flint mistakes them as, as actual warriors, he, and, um, he takes them back with them, and they, he immediately finds out, I think, after, like, after they bring them back, that they're actually not, cir they're circus, um, bugs, they're circuses. They're from, they're from the circus, and so he, um, he gets, there's a little fight between them, and they end up leaving, but... Once they save um, the, the little girl ant, uh, I think her name was, uh, I'm trying to remember her name, I think it's Dip, no it's not Dip, it's, uh, I think it might have been Dip, I can't remember her name, I forgot her name, um, but but she basically um, falls and stuff, she can't fly very well, so she, she, she falls and they, they go to save her and the b birds come attack, so it's, it's really, you know, unique. Yeah, it's really unique though. I, I I like I like that that they they went out of their way to save this ant, and it's it's not really an action scene, but it's still it's still entertaining in some way. Like, but um um but 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 yeah, basically though uh, they there's a, there's a few more jokes. Um, I didn't point them all out, but I figured you guys can watch the film yourself to see the jokes. But um. One joke I wanted to point out, because this is very, really dark. This is really dark. This is another um, a, a kind of adult joke. Um, it's not really an adult joke, but it's a little kind of extreme for kids these days. Um, but there's a joke about um, these ants um, drawing a picture of um, these circus bugs because they think they're actual warriors, literally murdering the, the um, murdering the um, you know, the the, the grasshoppers with, with um. With um blood with blood on um with um you know blood on the pictures. So that's uh, that's really really dark. It's really dark, honestly. <laughs> and I, I, I get the grass ho grasshoppers are technically the bad guys in this movie, but still that's like really dark. Like that's something you would see in a PG thirteen movie, not a, not a. A, a E for Everyone movie or something or whatever they call they rate um kids movies these days I don't even know but it's still kind of dark um of course of course this is an earlier Pixar film so uh, yeah but but they end up having the, the liar reveal plot there's a liar reveal p plot where they actually um you know a lot of people don't like it I don't think it's that bad I think it's okay um I don't think it's great either I don't personally think. A lot of times, a, li ri a liar reveal thing is really good in a movie, but I, don't, I, I think it's just okay. I mean, technically, they had to have Flint leave, leave the, um, I mean, Flint leave the, um, the, um, you know, um, the, 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 the ants, so uh, that the, pl the plot can continue with a hopper taking over and stuff, so... I guess in a way it does work out because he ends up sneaking into the bird and you know attacking him, and then we get a satisfying death with Hopper actually getting killed by um by birds. So uh, yeah. But overall, though, I think this film is it's all right. I don't think it's fantastic. In fact, I'm gonna rate it a meh. It's getting a meh, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and give give this a score too. Um give it a score too and it's gonna get um I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be giving it um probably um I'm gonna give it uh 61 points yeah it's getting 61 points though and um I'm getting giving it 61 points um because uh, the because I, I feel like the circus bugs do do are a little entertaining. They're not fantastic, and overall, I think I think the story is a little bit 
dull at times. I don't I don't think it's boring when it'll make you fall asleep, but there's not really a lot of action going on in this movie. It's kind of just it's kind of just uh, you know, eh, it's not really, you know, the best and all that, but but this is actually something I want to point out too um about this film. Um this film is actually I believe the only um yeah, it's the only um original Pixar error films to not get a sequel. All the other films got a sequel, except A Bug's Life. A Bug's Life is the only one that didn't get a sequel. And you can argue, well, Ratatouille's got the original opening, but Ratatouille was, came out when Disney bought Pixar. So this is the only film of the original, the original seven to actually, you know, get, get a sequel. Watchy. Well, I guess technically six because Toy Toy Story is um got a, got a sequel you know too, but this is the only only one that did not get a sequel at all. Peter did, which is really odd. I guess because it, it, the film did not do it the best. I guess they didn't want to make a sequel to it, but it's probably for the best because Pixar and Disney have had problems with sequels in the pa- like in the in the past, you know. So I think having a sequel for this film probably wouldn't be the best. Um, they actually joked about it in Toy Story um, 2. Though. They actually joked about it in the, bl- the bloopers. Um, this film also started the whole blooper thing, which did not last very long. It only lasted, I think, a, a, few, a few films, and that was about it. But it's basically where the, where the main characters are actually actors or actors in movies so basically that means these bugs are actually actors now huh, they must have had they must be you know vi- have to have very small cameras then to have to have you know them in actors but it's really funny actually they do this is this is something pixar used to do that made them unique pixar does not do this anymore though they kind of i think they might might have they might have brought brought it back um i think in, in inside out i think I think they did. I'm not sure. Um, but but they pretty much have forgotten about this trope, though. Though, but, but yeah. Overall, like I said, this film is definitely kind of. Eh, it's not very great. It's not really. It's not bad. I will watch it again. But it's not really good either. It's kind of in the middle and. Um, And another another thing I want to like say too um about this is what this is what I noticed um only a few ants in this movie actually fly. Only a few of them actually fly. Like like why doesn't Flint fly when he's going across you know across you know the um well he goes across you know the the, the gap why didn't he fly instead of taking a Danny line to fly actually I think it's not a Danny line actually I don't know actually it is a Danny line so it's one of those white things but he doesn't take that he 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 doesn't take his wings and fly he just uses a Danny line which is really odd like um I was looking it up because I was like like maybe maybe the um maybe maybe, maybe um you know. Maybe it's a, a female thing because I saw um, the, the 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 princess you know princess um, aunt did the same thing she um she f- flew too but I guess I guess I just did not do that with all which is really odd like I'm not sure why that is also they tend to play the this, this same theme like throughout the entire film like it's almost I think there's a few different music, you know, tropes, but almost it's almost the same thing every time. They play this thing like five times. It's the thing, you know, that they, that that starts, you know, the movie off, you know, after the intro, of course, but it starts off, you know, with the, this theme and it plays like five or six times throughout the entire film. And it, it's a good theme, but I'm like, why did it only play this theme? Like, why is it only this theme? It's freaking nuts how they play it so many times. I gotta say too, the animation is not the greatest either. It's it's I think it's actually a downside compared to Toy Story. Toy Story actually had a better had a better animation in this movie, which is odd. But but I don't know. Um, this will actually be the last I believe the last film to have really bad animation like this. Um, well, it's not really bad. It's not hideous to look at, but it's not like 
as good as, like, you know... Like, I feel like, you know, the early 2000s Pixar films had the best animation because um, at that, that moment they would look the best before they started trying to make them more, more realistic looking and stuff. Because at, at the times that like the newer films, they make them way too realistic to the point where they don't look as it, as colorful looking as they, they should and all that, so... Yeah, but this this film this film is definitely okay though. I definitely think it's okay. I definitely don't think it's great, but I but like I said, what t takes this film down is the is the, is the overall story, which is kind of it's it's kind of average. And then you know, got the what really takes the the score down with the film is that is the ants themselves. The ants themselves are are kind of frustrating when they the way they treat Flint. And at the end, they, they do they do redeem themselves, but still, we gotta watch like an hour and a half or so of a freaking movie with with these ants bullying Flint and stuff all the time. So yeah, just just kind of frustrating, and um, I find it funny too how one of the bugs is not a bug; she's a black widow spider, and she's like she's like you know friends with these bugs, which is funny because Black Widows and other spiders eat bugs, but I don't know. But yeah, I don't I don't know though, but um Yeah, over overall though, overall this film is definitely it's definitely okay. I don't think it's fantastic. Um I would definitely recommend this if you guys have, you know, free time on your hands. I wouldn't say it's, it's you know, again, the best of the original Pixar films, but I don't, I don't think it's bad or anything. It's, it's okay. Um, we still have Cars to go through, too, and I don't remember if Cars was made before Disney bought Pixar or afterwards. I think Disney bought Pixar, and they bought Pixar in 2006, but I think they bought, bought Pixar in um, mid-2006 or something like that. I'm not sure, but... I don't know. But also, too, um, you guys see this blue here, too. Um, I am going to start, um, like, every Pixar film, I will be using this white and blue stuff here. There's color in here. The white words down here, and then the, and then the um, you know, light blue um, color. Um, that's, that's for the um, Pixar, the CGI castle intro. I'll be using this with all of them. Even the ones that do not no longer have the CGI castle, I will still use this one. So that way you guys can see, you know, the, the CGI castle um, coloring and all that, you know. Now occasionally it would turn it would be blue and stuff too. It'd be dark blue too. It'd be either this color or a dark blue in the background of the castle. But I, I think I'm gonna do this one that way it stands out a bit better. I, I do like this color. Um, also the um the the wordings um. The words of the the uh, the, the movie name that that will be um actually colored colored so it will not be white, except the review word itself the re the word review it'll be um white. Now the only reason why why that the um the life word is um the same color as the bottom part here is because. That's the color of uh, Flint's, you know, skin. Well, actually, it's actually a darker, like a tur turquoise-looking blue, but I've already, you know, put the color like that, so I can't do anything about it now, but... Um, but, but yeah, overall, though, overall, I think this film is definitely all right. Um, I don't have a lot else to really say, I don't think. Um, wait, 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 let me check my paper here, honestly, just to be, just to be on the safe side. It's on the other side. Oh, oh yeah, I was gonna mention this too. That all the bugs are basically the same size too. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, they're all like the same size. Now that stick, stick figure guy, he's like he's like really tall, but most of the bugs are like about the same size. Which is really odd. Now I heard heard ants. Ants does not do this. This is actually something too. Um, ants is actually is the same film. That's a fun fact. This film actually came out the same year ants did. Now ants came out first, but there's actually a debate on whether this film 
came out before Ants, or, well, it obviously came out afterwards, but if it was in development before Ants was or not, so, so, uh, yeah, but, um, but yeah, basically, though, yeah, um, like I said, all, all the, all the bugs are, like, the same size, while Ants, all, all of the bugs are, like, different sizes and stuff. Now, I have not seen Ants, so, um, so I don't, I, that's a DreamWorks film. I've not seen it. It's the first DreamWorks film, too, but I've not seen it. So, um, yeah. But DreamWorks has been around almost about the same amount of time as as Pixar has when it came to their movies. So they've been around almost about the same, same, same time, which is crazy. While DreamWorks actually has way more films than even Pixar does at this point, which is funny. It, it could be something to do with the fact that, that um, Pixar um, was partnered up with Disney for a short amount of time and then they got bought by Disney. Well, DreamWorks was not bought by someone until, I think, 2017 when Dream when Works was bought by Universal or something. I don't know. but Because they did partner up, partner up with a bunch of other studios, but I don't know. Um, but one more thing I want to think I want to point out to... Um, um, this is one more thing I want to point out. Um, that that um, that um, apparent that, that that this is a, a celebrity who voices one of the characters. I don't know if the other ones are the same or not, but there's a celebrity um, in this movie. Um, uh, I forgot her name. I, I already forgot her name. It's, I think it's Phil 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 Dillard's. Um, Dillard's or, I don't remember her name. Shoot. Um, if you guys look look up her name on Google, um, she actually voices um, the queen ant, the actual queen ant in this movie. Um, she's she's been in uh, other movies too, but she died in two thousand twelve. But she also you know voiced um, Peter's mom, and, Peter's mom, and um, in, in the move, movie movie uh, one of the movie I mean the show um, Family Guy, of course. So. Um, so that's funny how she was she voiced the queen ant in this movie. Um, I guess I can also say this too real quick. Um, I got a lot of lot to talk about actually, but um, there's actually one voice actor who voices um the piggy bank pig on um in the abominable snowman and all that. Um, he voices a character I believe in every Pixar film, but here um a after um I think it was Soul or something or. So or Luca, I can't remember um which one it was. Someone mentioned it, um, but he quit voicing Pixar characters. So um, but he's been voicing almost every character in almost every Pixar film, which is crazy. The guy's probably really old now too. Um, I think the guy who voiced the, the um the fat um caterpillar guy here. Yeah, the, the guy who voiced the fat cat, for, he, I think he died. I think he died a long time ago, but... I mean, this movie's really old, which would make sense, but... I don't know, though. But overall, though, I think that's about all I have to say, though. Um, I don't have anything else to really say. Um, I'm probably going to let this go, but before I do, I'm going to get a comment question out of here. Um, the comment question for this movie is... Um, what is your guys' favorite types of bugs? So, like, lady ladybugs, butterflies, moths, um, the, monster, the monsters out there that, who like mosquitoes. No, just kidding. No, I'm kidding. But seriously, the people who out there like mosquitoes, I don't know. Um, um, the, um, I, I don't know, any kind of bugs. My favorite has to be butterflies. I love butterflies. I think they're really pretty looking insects. I think they're really pretty and... I just like the way, I like I like seeing them in the spring and stuff. There's also cicada bugs too. Um, I like cicada bugs too. The sounds they make in the summer, but and a lot of people find them annoying. But I don't think they're that bad in my opinion. But they remind me of my childhood, back when I used to go to barbecues and stuff when I was little. But mm -hmm. but overall though, um, tell me what your guys' favorite um bugs are, what types of bugs are um. There's also fireflies, too, or li lightning bugs. I think they're the same thing. I recall fireflies or lightning bugs. But tell me about what you guys... Tell me what your guys' favorite insects are in the comments below. And, um, 
And also, this is a this is Dash Show. Rose, have a wonderful day, and see you guys next time. If I missed anything, I'll bring it up in my Toy Story 2 review. So, uh, yeah. Anywho, bye.